Now let's go over the programming interface for Elite Robot. When the program starts the main interface, the teaching pendant will appear. The main interface has a list of all the current state programs on the teaching pendant. At this time, we can click create to create a new file and then name the file. There is no limitation when it comes to naming for this program. It can be all alphabets, all numbers, or a combination between numbers and alphabets. After completion, our new file will appear on the file list. If you click open, you will see a blank program interface. The program will start with NLP and end with END. At least programming language does not require the user to memorize the parameters of the commands. The user can insert all the commands through editing commands and add these commands into our program using the method and insertion. All the relevant parameters of this command will appear in the drop down menu below. We just have to perform a single configuration according to the task. Now I have successfully inserted a command. Something worth noting is that we will have to activate our servo when we insert our motion command. When the servo is activated, the servo indicator light will turn on on the teaching pendant. During this time, the move command will appear under edit command. You will only be able to successfully insert your motion command when you press the servo activation button. We can also configure speed and smoothness on the motion command. This way I've inserted a motion command. Other common commands will also appear in the submenu. For example, we can see here some commonly used motion commands and logic commands.